Hey, hello, welcome to Chemistry and Tool. So in this particular video, let us discuss few things about Indian Institute of Science, one of the top universities in India, and it is situated in Bangalore. It's also called as IISC, Indian Institute of Science. Okay, now IISC is ranked in top 100 universities in, in the world. IISC Bangalore is the number one institute in India and globally it holds a position of rank 16. So uh, if you see this article of Hindustan Times that was published on February 2020, 11 Indian institutes make it to world's top 100 list. So IISC Bangalore is one of them and IISC Bangalore is the number one institute with a rank of 16. So many a time people ask me, is IISC Bangalore better than uh, IITs? So if I tell you on the basis of rank, yes, IISC Bangalore is far better than IITs in terms of the rank, global ranking, because it, it holds a global rank 16, whereas all the IITs are below 16, or they may be, the first IIT, that's IIT Khadakpur, is at a rank of 32. So here is one more uh, performance list, uh, top 100 universities in 2020 your IIT IIC Bangalore was at rank 16 it slipped by two rank it was at 14 in 2019 then you have got IIT Kharagpur, IIT Bombay, IIT Delhi, Roorkee, Indore, Madras, Roper, Institute of Chemical Technology it's at 73 right now IIT Kanpur at 77 and Amrita Vishwa Vidya Peter at 90 I'm damn sure many of you must have not even heard about this university because we all are involved in the race of IIT and uh, NITs we never we never hear about the other universities which are doing actually far better than many universities now I am saying all this thing because all those students who want to do their masters from ISC Bangalore should know all these things that I'm about to tell you the first thing departments well IIC Bangalore well, I'm speaking about the chemistry department it has got an organic chemistry department an organic chemistry physical chemistry solid state and structural chemistry unit and a material research center so these are the departments in IIC Bangalore for chemistry students the next important thing is IIC has an integrated MSc PhD courses for all those students who are preparing for IIC Bangalore who are uh, about to give their IIT exam examination you should keep in mind IIC Bangalore does not offer only MSc it's going to offer you MSc MSc plus PhD, two years of MSc plus five years of your PhD. So in all, you will have to spend seven years in IIC Bangalore. So before you take a decision, before you decide whether you want to join IIC Bangalore or not, make sure that seven years of your life are going to be in IIC Bangalore along with your master's plus your PhD program. So you can do your postdoc from abroad. For all those students who aspire to do their PhD from abroad, foreign universities, I would uh, I would advise them not to go to ISC Bangalore. Well, I'm not saying that PhD from IC Bangalore will be better or PhD from abroad foreign countries will be better. That all depends upon in which university you are going in foreign country. If you are in India, PhD from IIC Bangalore will be really the best option that you can get right now. Okay. So IIC has got an integrated MSc PhD. Integrated simply means MSc and PhD together. Qualification is via IIT JAM, Joint Admission Test. That's IIT JAM. Okay. So you will have to appear for IIT JAM in your graduation. That's a hundred marks paper and you should get a good rank and you should actually get a good rank. This is followed by an interview. You will be having an interview if you are shortlisted for final selection and only and only after interview you will be selected. First hundred ranks, th those who uh, get AIR 1 to 100 in IIT Jam, they are sure to receive an interview call. Batch strength hovers around 30. So only, not always 30. 20 to 30 students are only admitted for integrated MSc PhD in IISC. Now the problem is you need to have a good all India rank. Okay, If your AIR is below 500, the probability of getting into IISC decreases exponentially and recently the trend is all those students who get a good rank in IIT Jam, they all prefer IISC Bangalore over IITs for all the students who are interested in research. So if you want that your chances to get into IISC should maximize, you should have a good all India rank. So your preparation for IIT Jam competitive exam should be really, really good. And you should start preparing it from the day one whenever you are watching this video. Okay. Now, after the interview, the basic qualification and eligibility, keep in mind, this is the most important point. You should have a first class in BSc or an equivalent degree with chemistry. So you should have chemistry in all the three years, first year, second year, and third year, you should have chemistry. And then you should have first class as one of the main subject with mathematics at plus two. 
and you should have mathematics at plus two that is in your 12th standard you should have mathematics okay just do remember this in case for all the students who do not have mathematics please search for an option nios that's national institute of open schooling you can appear for mathematics paper through nios in case if you had biology in your 11 12th standard and you wish to go into iits or iisc bangalore even iits will demand mathematics at plus two level so in case if you didn't had mathematics at plus two level so what you can do go to nios that's national institute of open schooling i will be giving you the link in the description box click over there and then you can appear for your mathematics class 12 and then if you qualify that if you pass that examination you can get an admission in iic or iits now the next important thing is candidate who seek admission in integrated phd program at iic should qualify jam and must submit the IISC online application during February or March. Usually the application form for IISC opens in February, March every year and you should submit the form and after your IIT jam results are declared. So IIT jam uh, examination is conducted in the month of February and it takes almost one month or, or maybe one and a half or two months for them to release the results so as soon as your results are out for your iit jam you have will have to update them the jam result must be updated online in applicants interface immediately after the jam result now the next point is the shortlisting of candidates for interview is done pay is done based on the performance in jam so there's no other way you will have to perform good in iit jam competitive exam and once you have got a good rank your probability for getting into isc increases Okay, the last and the most important point, the minimum requirement for admission to integrated PhD program is first class or equivalent grade in bachelor's degree as indicated against each department. So you will have to get a first class. Okay, you should have a first class in your bachelor's. So if you wish to get into I IISC, so you will not only have to work hard for IIT jam but also you will have to work hard in your graduation so that you get a good rank good percentage or in short i can say you got a first class in your graduation if you don't have a first class in your graduation you will not be admitted into iisc even though if you qualify your iit jam competitive exam okay now the most important point over here is the interview letters for the shortlisted candidate will be sent by email in at at least two weeks in the advance so you will be getting an short if you are shortlisted you will be getting an email such candidates shall make necessary arrangement for attending the interviews you will have to go to isc bangalore for interview no separate combination will be sent by post you will not be receiving anything by post so many a time students don't check their email ids because in case if you don't check it you are not going to receive anything in physical so you will have to keep checking your email ids Next is traveling allowances that is second class sleeper class train fare will be paid to all the candidates who attend the interview. So if you are living in some remote areas and if you are traveling to Bangalore, so the ISC Bangalore will give you traveling allowances that is your traveling amount. So if you if you uh, took a ticket for 2000 rupees, so they will be giving you but it should be a second class sleeper again okay? not first class don't go with AC. Okay? So they, they are going to pay you a second class sleeper train fare okay the next important thing is candidates call for an interview have to make their own arrangement for travel and accommodation etc so within bangalore you will have to make your own arrangement for staying wherever you are going to stay there for your traveling in bangalore they are on only going to give you traveling allowances for coming from your village till bangalore okay now the most important thing that students usually ask me and this is really important that if i'm getting into iisc bangalore what are different research fields that i have now let me tell you iisc bangalore is purely a research institutes unlike iits which are technical institutes iisc bangalore was established with a with a mindset that pure research science will be conducted over there it has got chemistry it has got biology it has got physics so all the pure science branches so there are separate separate departments for them you can visit the website the link is given in the description box now in chemistry you have got all these topic where different different scientists and professors over there are working let me tell you one of the famous professor professor cnr rao is also a faculty in iisc bangalore okay so what are the different topics that you have got ultra fast chemical dynamics theoretical chemistry statistical phenomenon surface chemistry and catalysis chemical kinetics solid state material chemistry solid state and material chemistry amorphous material nano material a very famous topic right now ceramics superconductor biomaterial synthetic organic physical organic and organometallic chemistry chemistry of transition and non-transition metal that is dnf block bio you know bio organic chemistry chemical biology chemistry and biology mixed up biomaterial and biological processes at material interface supramolecular chemistry and application chemistry and application of polymer 
electrochemistry principles electrochemical energy storage and generation which is one of the most important topic right now because energy conservation is the demand of our you need to conserve energy and there's a great research going on in IIC Bangalore on electrochemical energy storage and generation then electrochemical devices thin film devices molecular and van der Waals spectroscopy development of NMR methodologies and applications so different different methodologies for NMR so apart from this there are many other topics these are few few main categories where you can go in IIC Bangalore and do a research so your two years of masters plus five years of your PhD will be at a same institute now students usually ask me should we opt for IISC Bangalore or should we opt for IITs central universities NITs or ICER so if I compare IISC Bangalore with all these institutes, the first thing, the first benefit of IISC is it is ranked one in India. It's the top university in India, far, far ahead than any other IITs in India. First thing. But well, let me tell you the ranking is based on many other parameters. If I specifically speak about chemistry, IISC is one of the cream institute in India right now. A huge research is going on. So if you are research oriented, research oriented, you should definitely opt for IISC Bangalore. Don't give it a second thought. Only 30 students are going to be admitted in IISC Bangalore. So if you have a choice between IITs and IISC Bangalore, and if you are inclined toward research, if you are interested of doing research, please go for IISC. The second side of the story is once you are in IIC Bangalore for seven long years you won't be able to get out of that so the only drawback that I find for getting into IISC is once you are in IISC Bangalore your seven years will be locked there and you can only opt for postdoc later on in in foreign countries so if you want your options to be open if you want to keep your options open for PhD in foreign countries then I would say that you should go for IITs or central universities or NITs do your masters from there and then for post for PhD you can go to foreign countries but if you are damn sure that you want to do your PhD and masters from India then there can be no other better choice than IIC Bangalore in India right now well let me tell you once again I'm not saying that ICERs, NITs or CUs or IITs are are bad I'm just saying I'm just doing a comparative analysis over here that if you are really interested IISC is really really a good institute so all those students who are right now in their BSc in their graduation first year maybe second year maybe or maybe a third year I mean third year please do start your preparation for this competitive exam jam and keep in mind that you will have to get a good rank try to keep your rank in top 100 so once you are in top 100 your probability for getting a seat in IISC increases and this can only be done if you work hard from day one IISC Bangalore is a thumbs up from my side and I would always say that if you are research oriented IISC Bangalore will be the preferred choice than IITs for me so I hope this video was useful till then bye bye take care and God bless you all